Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome football fans to WatchYouWant.com's Super Bowl High Time Show. Yes, I said High Time Show because this is how Haute Horlogerie does football American. Now tonight, of course, since the NFL gives you two contenders, we're going to go one more and give you three. And in the spirit of our host state, Texas, where everything is bigger, this is your Super Bowl Super Watch Smackdown. Of course, as your impartial referee, I'm wearing a brand neutral timepiece. You can see my Swatch Blue Rebel. I'm going to go to the replay right now and focus on my watch, which is both brand neutral and in the spirit of our host city, Houston, made of a petroleum product. So now, representing the establishment, the old money and the champions seemingly every year, the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Sea Dweller, Deep Sea Deep Blue 116660 in honor of the New England Patriots. And as you can see on the macro camera, as the host of the original gas escape valve, this watch is uniquely suited to letting gas well, out of an enclosure. Not that anyone on the Patriots would know anything about that, has partaken in anything like that, or would have any knowledge of any persons who did so. Now, representing the disruptive force and the challenger, the Hublot Oceanographic 4000 meter, the official watch, for our purposes anyway, of the Atlanta Falcons. Again, bigger than Texas and just as hefty, this watch represents the home state perhaps better in spirit than any of the others here. And because, as you and I both know, the Super Bowl really belongs to the commercials, the cheerleaders, and the halftime show. In honor of everything that's good and great and will win regardless of who triumphs on the field, we have the Jezur Le Coult Master Compressor Extreme Lab 2. Now let's say, for our purposes, Hublot, the challenger, wins the coin toss. This is an interesting watch because although technically 48 millimeters, it's a lot bigger. I mean, look at it. Without even going to my macro camera, you can see this thing's the size of my head from across the room. And like Refrigerator Perry on a wake program, although this one of 1500 limited edition is made of carbon and titanium to shave a few grams, ultimately it just winds up being really, really heavy. So let's take a look at this watch. 48 millimeters is a tough measurement to achieve across this case. I would say roughly where I've placed my fingers, that's your 48 millimeter measurement. Everywhere else, it's well over 50, and in some places, over 60. The watch is 23 millimeters thick, meaning it's about as tall as an NFL stadium. And from lug to lug, over 60 millimeters, this watch is about as long as a record field goal, assuming you could make the kick. But it does have many features to redeem it. Namely, it is the deepest diving watch we have here and by a large margin. The Rolex is rated to 3900 and it's tested to 125% of that, but the Hublot, as a true ISO 6425 compliant dive watch, we're sticking to regulation play here, guys, is tested to 5,000 meters. So although it's combination of a black loom, a black dial, black hands, and a black case may be uniquely frivolous in the spirit of American football, nevertheless, it is a serious tool and one with serious hardware. Now, in the hand, it's heavy, but it has a very purposeful heft to it. It feels like a quality piece. It feels like an instrument. It has an exceptional internal unidirectional rotating bezel. Now, it has a crown that comes off a crown beneath it, so it has a shield crown over a primary crown, which is large and easily manipulated with wet hands, sweaty hands, or with gloves for you sideliners out there. It also features the ability to rotate the bezel internally, so you can align the index with the minute hand, and now you have an impromptu 0 to 60 timer. When you want to stop the clock, it's great to have that analog 0 to 60 minute capability for anything from fish tacos on the grill to a bathroom break in between plays. Also worth mentioning, this watch features possibly the best footwork of our group as its quick release system, which is a seat belt buckle, basically allows you to push a pusher, pull the strap, dismount it, and accessorize with any of the many options available should you wish to gear up on Hublot's website. By far the most painless quick release system here. Now I also want to highlight, out of pure respect, the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 
deep sea sea dweller. Now it's important to note that originally released at Basel World 2008, this is the oldest of the watches here, the oldest model. But like Tom Brady, it's an aging franchise player and still a pro bowler. Now this watch, of course, features a rare co-branding element as the variant you see here, the deep sea deep blue, has that gorgeous blue gradient dial with the shock of sort of signal green, signal yellow, a tribute to James Cameron. This watch came out in August of 2014 and it's been a hot seller since, as I said, still very much a star in the game. Now the watch of course features the original helium escape valve, again no comment on whether or when the Patriots may know anything about the release of gas from any on-field equipment, but it's nice to know it's there if you need it. Now the watch has a titanium case back and it uses a ring lock system that effectively turns the middle case into a sandwich of mixed metals and a five plus millimeter thick crystal, basically indestructible. It's also important to note that the watch has the best bracelet in the dive watch class. Since it's a Rolex, this bracelet has the name. It's the 98210. And as you can see, there is quite a disparity between the width of the lugs and the bracelet width itself. But like Bill Belichick's fashion sense, you may question it, but you can't argue with the results. Now I want to highlight the fact that this watch featuring the oyster lock clasp has a trap door of sorts. It features a clamshell to close, which keeps it secure, but to adjust the micro adjustment, which gives you two millimeter increments up to 20 millimeters total. You raise this sawtooth lever, and then you can slide it internally and adjust easily to put it over a diving suit, a wetsuit, or a dry suit, or for you Patriots fans, a thick winter coat or sweater. But you also have flip lock an extensible set of intermediate links, beautifully machined. Between the two of them, you can add over two inches, that's 50 millimeters for our non-football American fans, to the length of this bracelet without any intervention of a jeweler. And of course, it's beautifully built, like a tank. And now, the Jezer Le Coult Master Compressor Extreme Lab 2. This is like the first round draft pick quarterback out of Texas who also scored 100% on the Wonderlick, who also has a sniper rifle arm and can outrun a defensive lineman, and got an offer to pitch for the Yankees. But unlike that kid, you're not gonna see so much of it that you're sick of it by the time mini camps arrive. So let's go to the tape. Now this watch, undoubtedly the most feature laden, took a bit of an Eli Manning route to production. We first saw it at SIHH 2010, and it caused a sensation. Articles were written, orders were booked, excitement ran high. But then, like Eli, it spent a couple of years trying to find itself in the pros. The watch wasn't actually released onto the market until 2014. But as the second Extreme Lab, it's like Eli, a two-time champion today. The watch is exceptional. In terms of outright dimensions, this is by far the most manageable of our group. I'm going to cut back to our old friend, the Rolex Deep Sea, for comparison's sake. The Rolex features an extraordinary 55.5 millimeter lug to lug span when you include its solid end links. In outright measurements, it's 44 millimeters across the case, but it's a big 44. And in terms of its stack, its thickness, it's very thick. 18 millimeters thick means there's nothing else that's even close in the Rolex catalog. Compare that to the Svelte and Athletic Master Compressor Extreme Lab 2. Now the watch from lug to lug is 53.5 millimeters and it has an extraordinary set of mechanical ratcheting lugs, meaning that while this one is very much an NFL physique, nevertheless, it can fit on my pro cycling wrist. Moreover, the watch is slim. At only 16 millimeters thick, it's by far the slimmest of our class of all-stars here, 47 millimeters across the round of the case. Now, did I mention this watch is overqualified? Yeah, definitely. This is a timepiece that has a vertical clutch column wheel chronograph, a second column wheel for selecting crown functions. It has a 100 meter diving depth. It has a GMT with an AM PM adjustment. And when you want to stop the clock, it has a hacking lever. But perhaps its most extraordinary feature is its digital chronograph, which every time the chronograph seconds hand passes 12, rolls over. And there you can see, 10 minutes on the clock at 12 o'clock. Feel free to rewind that one for a replay. Now I also want to highlight what that second column wheel does because the crown doesn't pull out. It has one position. So in order to make it a multifunction crown, Jezre Lecoult had to feed 
feature a column wheel selector that allows you to cycle between winding, setting the GMT, or setting all of the time indications in sync. And it has a buckle that's probably smarter than half the assistant coaches in the league with a micro adjustment that allows you to take it in or take it out to properly size it. And on the underside, for when you have to run to the locker room and change, it has a quick release system for its remarkably over-engineered strap and buckle combination. Fans, every single one of these watches is a pro bowler. Whether you favor the old franchise player, the Rolex Deep Sea, the disruptive, outlandish force in the Atlanta Falcons, or the wonder kind, the Jezreel Lecoult Master Compressor Extreme Lab 2. Every single one of these has what it takes to play in the pros. So, regardless of which one of these is your first round draft pick, you can see every one of them giving you a personal, private, all-star tryout on our website, watchyouwant.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. Check us out on Instagram. And of course, email tim at watchyouwant.com with all your questions and thoughts and suggestions. I'm Tim. She's still Faleen. This is Watch You Want. Enjoy the game, and thanks for logging on.